Hi, this is Kyle. I'm the ticket account manager with the Altoona Curve baseball team. I was reaching out to give your company a call today to see who I might be able to speak with there that would be in charge of setting up any type of group outings for the company. Hi, Kyle. Uh, my name is Annie. I'm our director of human resources here. That would uh, most likely be me. We got the right person. Okay, perfect. Hi, Annie. How are you today? Doing well. How are you? Doing well, also. Thank you for asking. Um, let me ask you something. Have you ever been out to a curve game before? Yeah, I have many times. I'm from Altoona, so I, I frequent your ballpark often. Okay, anything in particular when you come that really stands out to you like, for the whole experience? Uh, I really love the curve burgers. Okay, yeah, that was a big hit with all our fans. <laughs> um, um, is there a time like you usually like to come out during the season, specific month or anything, and then specific seating level you like to sit in? Uh, I usually just come out when our schedules allow it, but we typically sit down in the uh, the section closest to the field. Okay, so you like to sit close to the field and everything, really get a good view. Mm -hmm. And now when you come out to the ballpark, has it just been like you and your family or is it more so you come out with the company before? Uh, nope, never been been there with the, with the company, just family and friends, things like that. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. Is, um, has the company ever done any type of group outing events as a whole in the past? We did our first one uh, last summer. We went to Del Broncos Park for the day uh, with our employees and, and some family members, but that's all we've ever done before. Okay. And now take me through some of the um, you know likes and dislikes that the company had after the event. Yeah, so it was a fun day. We felt that it was really well suited to the, the employees' families, the children, but maybe not so much for our actual employees since it's kind of a, a children's park. Uh, it was still a fun day, but I don't know that we would go, go back again just to give them something else. Okay, so something you might look to improve on for a future event would be you know, more of a balance of the adult and children having a good experience together, not so much one-sided. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, and then for that event, obviously you said you know it was the employees and their families who would come out. Would you say a good percentage of the employees came out to the event and was the company happy with the turnout? Yeah, yeah, we invited everyone. Uh, we had about 50 show up um, and they were allowed to bring their families as well. So I think we had around 150 or so total and that was, that was pretty good yeah. for us. We were pleased. Sounds like a lot of people there and then 50 um, employees coming out, is that a pretty good turnout in terms of like your overall employees there? Mm -hmm. That was about 70% or so. Okay. Of Perfect, perfect. And then, you know, when the company is looking to do an outing and everything with the employees, what are you guys like really trying to accomplish? Um, we just did it to kind of say thank you and reward our staff. It wasn't for any anything particular. We just wanted to give them a little treat, something different. Okay, yeah, so you know, like thank them for doing good and everything in the workplace, understandable. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then what type, what time of uh, year did you end up doing this outing? Was it during the summer? Yeah, we went. Uh, we were looking to avoid the July Fourth holiday with all the vacations that our that our people take. Sure. So we went in uh, mid to late June, I think. I don't remember the exact date, but that worked out well because, like you said, we had a good turnout and it was a good time of year for everyone. And then I'm figuring you did this event on a weekend, you know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. You know, easier with everyone's schedules and everything. It was a there. Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Okay. And then, how far in advance did you guys, you know, start to plan out this event? Obviously, I think June was something you planned out a couple of months in advance, or? Uh, I think we started to plan around March or so, a couple months out. Okay, yeah, you know, give some time, make sure everything went smoothly, not run into any hiccups towards the end there. Mm -hmm. And then, for this event, or whenever the, the um, doing event in general, is the company the one who's going to be? You know, paying for everything, or is it going to be split up amongst the company and the employees? Um, last year, we paid for all of our employees and then allowed them to bring one guest on our time. And then, if they wanted to invite any other family members, it was up to them to cover the rest of the cost. And that's probably something we would do again. Um, it worked out; we thought it was fair. They thought it was fair. So. Sure. Yeah. And then, um, you know, I think that is fair. It brings everyone out. You know holding the cost on one side or the other, so you can't really find too many complaints there. Mm -hmm. And then is there a price range, you know, the company looks to stay in? Uh, we were hoping for somewhere between 20 and $30 for each person, if that's possible. Yeah, we definitely have some options here where we'll be able to keep you in that price range. And you know, we will also have food and drinks included in the prices there, so you won't have any additional things. 
obviously I think that might be something where, you know, I don't think you're looking to really spend more on top of that, 20 to 30. No, we would we would definitely want food and drink included if we were looking at that kind of price point. Sure, sure. And then, um, you know, once the company has an idea set on an event they're doing, how do they typically, you know, market to, to the employees and everything there? Uh, probably just with some simple emails around the office, which we find is the easiest way to communicate with our people. Um, but possibly having something like a poster or a flyer in the office would help. Sure, us yeah, we'd even be able to help you there with um, our graphics team, you know, make up some flyers and whatnot for you guys to distribute, you know, really get the word out, mm -hmm. increase that maximum turnout of all the employees there. Great. And then um, when the company, you know, is looking like they're going to do something, what does that decision-making process look like? Like, is it really just going through you as the head of HR? Or do you have to meet with, um, say, some higher ops? Is there like a board meeting you have to go to? Uh, essentially, I'm just a one-man team. It would eventually be my boss's call, but he would take my recommendations just because I'm the one out here actually talking with you guys. So it, it would be his call, but he'll go with Okay, yeah, sure, seems like a pretty easy going process then. Mm -hmm. So then Andy, um, based on everything you've told me today, I think I do have a pretty good um, option for you guys here at the ballpark for this coming season. You know, we do have our third base picnic pavilion here at the ballpark. It's an all you can eat buffet, it comes with ribs, chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, potato salad, you know, you guys get to eat really all you can eat two hours before the game. And you know the price point you're gonna be looking at there is 25 for adults, 20 for children, really keeping you in that 20 to 30 range. And then um, I know you had said you when you personally come here, you like seeing field level. The picnic pavilion comes with its own private section here in our third base outfield area. You're really right on the field level, perfect view of home plate, perfect view of the players. Really, really unique situation where you're not gonna find that anywhere else. And then taking a look at our schedule here. You know, I'm taking a look at our June dates. I know you said that's one of the company I went to Del Grosso's this last year. And I see June 20th as a really good potential day. We still have available availability down there. I know you had mentioned at least 50 people would probably be coming out. We still have room for all of that. You know, I get um, that June 20th date. It's a Saturday here. We have a fireworks show. Our fireworks shows are great. You know, we'd be able to get you here to lock in here with um, a small deposit. That might be something you're interested in here today. Yeah, that date sounds great. Um, I just need to kind of run it by our people and see if there's any major issues with it, but I would say that we could definitely look into that date for sure. Sure, yeah, and then um, I know you had said the decision process really goes through you and then your boss. Um, I'd even offer to meet with you and your boss during that meeting just to answer any questions he might have on his end, you know, ease them up, but I know sometimes it'd be difficult just to answer all the questions from our end and everything. Sure, I will uh, I'll mention that to him, see if he would be okay with that. Might be nice to have someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Sure, yeah. So, um, Annie, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drop an email with everything we just discussed, get that over your way, and then um, look for feedback from you on if you need me at that meeting or not. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Annie. Thanks for your time. Yeah.